Good morning, good morning, and uh, happy, happy Friday, and welcome to the weekend to each and every one of you, uh, EMC family. Great to be with you this morning. Um, you know, I never complain about being tired. Don't mind what our uh, star girl says. I never complain about being tired, but I am absolutely exhausted, and that is why we call Fridays Fatigue Fridays. Um, because we do our q and community, which we did last night. We did two long coverages. Uh, uh, unfortunately, some of the, uh, or the second part of it didn't have as good a quality. However, it still showed you Bajans having a great time. And also people in general, because there are a lot of people that live here um, or that are here at the moment that, you know, uh, just fit right in and everyone is called a Bajan. But for anyone that's visiting these shores and that was at q and community last night, thanks so much for, you know, being so kind and caring and nice and loving. So good morning to each and every one of you all. We're at beautiful Port St. Charles. We've been here the other day, you know what I'm saying? Man, Nicholas, we were just there the other day. Yeah, hold tight then. <laughs> we can see. And you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful marina. It's my preferred one because it's right on the beach side itself. Um, you know, it's not a port for a It's not beautiful. It's just I like the layout and the cosmetics of this place here, especially with the beautiful beach in front of it. All right, we can look in this direction here. We're going to say our serenity prayer now. Those who like to join us, please do. Remember, it's just a prayer for peace. I shouldn't use the word just at all. I should use this as a prayer for peace and comfort and guidance and for me calmness for sure. Hopefully um, this will also be used in your life to help you in the times where you may be very concerned about situations or think that you respond to things that you certainly are not. And you know, please join us now if you'd like to, otherwise we'll be back to you in a few moments time. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours be done. Amen. This morning has got to be one of the most perfect water mornings down here that I've seen for a very long time. Not only is it low tide, has a little ripple on it now, but when I first got here this morning and I was speaking to our star girl, of course I was speaking to her before I spoke to you all. Um, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Uh, I, I love her immensely. Anyhow, as I was saying before, it was a little bit calmer and this here, a little smoother. It was like glass this morning. There's a little rippling effect on it because there's some clothes wrong, pulling air from wrong different sections. Uh, we do have a tropical wave that's to the east of us, so Miss Care up front, um, remember tomorrow to bring your rain gear because it's very possible that we will be tranching through some water and stuff, so just prepare yourself, any of you that want to walk with us tomorrow, let's go that tropical wave, we come in later today, into tonight and then into the morning, may not happen, you know things can dissipate at this time of the year quite easily as we have seen, um, however just be prepared if you are walking with us tomorrow to bring your rain attire, your body shields. Beautiful, beautiful Port St. Charles. All right, so I just said a big hype up about how, oh, we were here a couple of weeks ago, but wait till you see. It's time that you see then. So we can make our way here. Now, you know, every day I talk about the sea grape. The sea grape actually is an amazing uh, bush because it actually holds sand in place. The root structure holds sand in place. Um, it also is, yeah, sorry, Gwen. It's cosmetically beautiful because they have some berries that come on it that go from green to reds into purples. Um, purple being the ripe ones. You don't eat them when they're green or they're red or they're purple because they taste terrible. But the uses for sea grape bush have been extended this morning so we can make all those sea grape lovers like sea grape police and her posse uh, happy with us. It also can hold my water skimming, hydroplaning, power sourcing apparatus which I've decided to use instead of our, instead of our uh, power float. I decided to use this this morning for our adventure. When I came on the beach, the guy said to me, you are on the wrong course, Skipper. <laughs> he thought I was going surfing. So I had to explain to him, no, this is a, a, this is a device that I'm using for a different purpose today. Um, but as you can see, this beach is low tide. Talk about beautiful cheese on bread. Listen, this is Barbados, man. Let me make sure that everyone on here does it come on here and think we're somewhere else uh, and say oh my gosh that place is beautiful we are in Barbados remember that that's us but we call it Barbados as Bajans so this is Port St. Charles that we're at and this is obviously the little island that's being built off of here that is being used uh, many well not many but it's, it has multi purposes one is the immigration and Port Authority they can actually be located here on customs so you can bring your vessel straight here you don't have to sail into British and get clearance as you once used to have to do and then come down the coastline to where your mooring point is you can actually uh, come straight in here clear immigration and, and customs and then come straight in more off your boat and then into your condo if that is if you are stationed here 
beautiful there's also a restaurant over there as you can see just in the center I've had a couple of meals over there in the past really lovely um, and if you're in, if you're interested please see if you may I would make a reservation for anything that you're doing in Barbados but definitely for here as well make your reservation a couple of sprinkles and beautiful showers of blessing coming down um, I don't have any of our rain shields today etc because I can't do everything with two hands if I was given another hand or two maybe I could do so but with just two hands I have to go to the priority so right now I'm going to use this apparatus here as a weather shield just for a couple of minutes while the sprinkling goes on and then we will start off our journey this morning I just take you around let you have a look around the surroundings let you take in and breathe in the peace and serenity that I'm experiencing right now and I've met a lot of friends out here and a lot of, of loving people this morning already had a conversation with them as you all would know I didn't talk very much last night at CUNY community because the music was so loud so today you might have a little more talk I might be up to 55% today that is a possibility all depends though because the serenity and the peace that I'm experiencing down here right now is just unreal so I may keep very quiet and enjoy the day for myself and show you all as well all right so you can hear pitter patter pitter patter another soothing and relaxing sound a sound that means all the plants are all going to be rejoicing today uh, it's only a short lived one we're going to be going out now so don't worry about it I know you all those of you who have never been with us before on this journey we've only done it once before we, um, we have two in mind today uh, one we've done uh, we've done them both before but only one at a time but we can do both today because you know why it's Friday um, because it is fatigue Friday and because I feel in the mood to bring something extremely different so let us make our way over here now I can't limbo this rope if I limbo this rope I have to take our uh, gimbal underwater with me so I'm going to step over it and then here we go so we're going to bring you something different today uh, we will be a little bit jittery and movie around because of what we're doing and also because I am trying to keep all of our electrical equipment safe as we are doing this here so here we go we're going to take our first trip for some of you or many of you across the mouth of Port St. Charles um, I know if our captain Peter Hoad is on here this morning he will tell you how deep our air is because he's very familiar with all of the nautical areas in Barbados um, and he will let us know how deep this is all he can tell you is is that Cheryl and Mary would not be able to do this because it is deeper than uh, waist deep and they can only go into waist deep because they cannot swim all right, so let me make my fine tune, tune here on the actual gimbal to make sure that we don't go out of cue and let us start our morning here we go so beautiful beautiful port st charles you've seen it before from the beach you've seen it from the actual cliffs this morning we're going to be seeing it as we swim across the mouth of this lovely marina it is beautiful out here just going to take a little spin as well let you see what's going on how are you going governor good, ma you say brace and different for the family today <laughs> But you here to, to share some love with the family? I see that. Yeah, man. How are you going, man? You good? Yeah, I good. I good. I Taking good. Your, uh, your morning meditation exercise? Yeah, I go up by Nikki Beach. I oh, go oh, yeah. Right up there and come around. Yeah, I, I can do that too with this power floating thing I have here today. Oh, I can show the family what, what it's like to oh, go exactly. via the sea. <laughs> so, how are you this morning, man? I good, man. All right, wonderful, man. Everything blessed and good. Yeah, man, you always got a big smile on your face, man. A real welcoming and, and friendly yeah, smile, man. you know? Yeah, I enjoy it. Yes, for sure. All right, enjoy, huh? Yeah. All right, okay, cool, man. So we're going to take, as I said before, a waterborne, I can't say stroll. I can say part stroll, part water, part <laughs> stroll, part paddle. Um, but we're going to make our way over there. Obviously, we're not going to be over there as fast as our friend here. Um, but that is because we are taking our time. It's not because of my lack of speed or anything like that. <laughs> In the distance there, you're seeing Cool Runnings for one of the beautiful luxury yachts on the island. Good morning to Robert Povey and his crew and all of his family. Good morning to you all. Um, that is their, I would say their most recent addition. They have quite a few. That is the number four. Um, before that has been under Cool Running's name or under their flag. But that one there is very high end, as you can see. I actually love how that one looks. So quite a few of them down here in the marina as well. I saw a cat and fiddle in the distance just now and quite a few others. Don't want to call any names because I would probably call them wrong. You know what it is. Anyway, thanks to all of the Q family last night. Uh, all of the people that we met, all of the, of course, main people I'd like to mention is the uh, Q107, 100.7 FM group. They are our extended family, as you all would know. You know, we got there last night. We were greeted by them. We were encouraged by them. You know, and they, they actually were there enjoying themselves with us as well, which is a wonderful thing. You know, it's nice to see that we are coming together and we're all just basically forming as one because our objective is to show you the peace and serenity of Barbados, the friendliness and also the pleasure and enjoyment 
um, of what it's like to be in Barbados. So anytime you're in Barbados on a Thursday, you would know where to go. Notice I am not puffing. I know for sure that some of our Spice Girls, I asked them to come across here last time. Nicole, who is a, I would say, an Olympically trained, she has not, she's not running medals because she's not there yet, but she may get there one of these days. But Nicole, unfortunately, um, would not come across here with me. She said, I am not doing that for the family. I don't care what you tell me, Nicholas. Well, they were not the exact words, but I took them as that meaning. So, as you know, it is. That, that is my, my um, description and translation of what she said. Beautiful though. I mean, the water view of this um, Port St. Charles is absolutely magnificent. Just beautiful. We're coming up to, don't want to mention it too fast because it's going to still take us a few minutes to get there. We're not in a rush. This morning we're bringing the beauty of the west or northwest coast of the island. Anyone that doesn't think the west coast is stunning has got to be joking. I didn't say the best coast, so stop it. All of you all Westies and Wibs that want to jump on there and say, you all hear what he said? He said that the West Coast, the best coast. I did not say that. I said to any of you that do not think that this West Coast is stunning, you haven't been on here, obviously, because this place is really amazing. I found a, a deep passion for the West that I did not have before, and that's the honest truth. I, I don't mind admitting it. And um, I guess that passion was brought on by someone that I uh, fall in love with. However, since I have been with her, We've spent a lot of time in the West Coast, a lot more time than I used to before, and it is one spectacular coastline. Well, we've, meet, we've met sand, so we can all pick up our speed as we work our way across here to a little um, beach here that's relatively unknown, but one of the most beautiful beaches uh, on the West as well. Swimming conditions out here, superior. There's no reef right here in front of this. It's all sand. There are buoyed areas for you to swim in. Um, you know, the actual buoyed sections here, as you can see. And then it goes off in deeper sections. Really good out here to snorkel on the outside section where all the armored reefs are being dropped um, to try and support the building of the beaches that you'll see in the distance. Um, Sandals, I think, are the ones who invested. Um, that is a, a site that's proposed to be one of their sites. Up there that used to call originally Haywoods Resort, then Amma Beach Village, and then into whatever it will be now. Um, that is where you will see all of the main beaches being formed. However, with the construction of this marina, we have seen a lot of beaches forming in this area as well. If you remember Six Men's Bay, used to go right up to the road where this port, where Port St. Charles is, used to be a swamp marshland in the background with a road that used to run up, a cul-de-sac used to run up from this corner out here by where it starts, um, right up, not the whole way up to um, Beach Village or Haywoods itself, but right along this section here. And when it was heavy rain or north swells, you could not drive on that road because either sea conditions or the torrential rains that were coming out of the actual marsh area. Um, would have prohibited that. As I said this morning, we are going to the billionaires, two main points of entry. Uh, yes, I see the billionaires on this morning, so I'm so happy that he is here with me, right or here with us right now. He can tell you all about his six condos in here. They would not allow him to have more because I said it did not want one person to have a monopoly. He was looking to take at least 12 here because he has investments all along the West Coast, so he was limiting himself to 12 because he's a very conservative, he's actually a very cheap guy. Um, but he does invest his money well, as you can see, because he has six, I think it's six East condos there. Jeremy, you could correct me if I'm wrong, man, because, you, you know, I, I sometimes give, get numbers mixed up. You should hear me with telephone numbers. Oh, my goodness. Don't even ask me for a number or you are in bear trouble. What a beautiful morning. So now we've um, got on to dry land. I can let you see the most beautiful thing of the morning. And the main feature is here. That is me, of course. Um, I am a little bit tired. I don't ever complain really about being tired. Our star girl will tell you, I don't ever complain about tired. I always say, Let, let's go. I'm not tired. I don't believe in being tired. That's a joke. That's just a word. You know what it is. I, I tell her all those things, but she will probably twist that because she's so creative and spin that into something like, he always says he's tired. I mean, he's exhausted. He said it six or seven times before we leave home, etc., etc. Whatever. So star girl, you have the privilege to say whatever you want at this moment because I understand that you call a skip out last night from the facility. I got a call from the professor who told me that you're being a very difficult student. But anyhow, he says that your heart is good and that you want to strive to be exactly like me. So he knows that your heart's in the right place. You know, good morning to each and every one of you all. I'm the Beijing warrior. Um, the word warrior does not mean violence or anything that's not nice. It means that I strive for happiness, peace, love, kindness, care, 
and affection and that's what I always try and do this is a journey that I am on and the journey that thousands are walking with us every day their own journey they're walking but they're walking with the same ideology and also walk towards their light similar as what I'm doing as well so this is one of the places you'll find a lot of a lot of returning Bajans um, that come back to Barbados that settle in this general area will come down here every morning um, the outside rocks here of this pier just on the other side of where we are is known as their parliament that's where the gentleman will go and sit sometimes some ladies too uh, and discuss all the politics and everything in Barbados and everything around the world so that is where the parliament unfortunately they're not in session at the moment they usually do a little simming and get rid of some of their energy first and then they will come over here later on in the day hey I see somebody we can go and say good morning to somebody would have said harass I'm sure but no good morning how are you all this morning isn't it just beautiful today you all are staying down inside here very beautiful lovely have a great day okay all right I am um, I actually as you all may not know but I am I am a talented and versed multilingual I could actually have spoken their language but you would not have understood so I have left that alone um, just because I really don't want to be having a dialogue on here that you all don't understand so do know that I am versed in, in, in thousands of languages uh, there are many that have not even got names to them yet but I can speak them fluently and that's quite easy for me to do a beautiful beautiful scenery here is this not beautiful stunning I remember when he first heard about this I was a little fearful of what it would end up being but I'll tell you this is enhanced this here and beautify the area beyond imagination for me at any rate clarity of water this morning I'll show you that a little bit further on we're gonna be walking this way for now we're gonna greet off all of our friends here I don't know if our big bodybuilding um, Olympian is out here this morning he usually pulls off some poses for us but I haven't seen him for a few weeks now if he's on this morning hopefully he will come down and we will catch him before we leave oh, are you going to grab me good yeah man it's a blessed morning huh what a beautiful morning huh cheese on bread so over here is gonna be full of people shortly and what you will find also with these folks down here is they share fruit and stuff someone will bring a box or a basket of fruit whether it be mangoes or apples or something and everyone will hear and sit down and eat them and share them together why my brother how are you going yeah you, you want to say hi to the world because we are on a live Facebook right now and I see you've got all your gear you ready go for the day yeah man so, so yeah. I know you got some good equipment there man yeah yeah man lovely man so you go home and do a broth them or something today them, you can fry them you yeah. can steam them you can do a little bit of everything with them nice man you want to introduce yourself to all of our family oh, his name is Richard Richard and local life guard here in Barbados oh wow man so you know Ken Mears very well I know then Ken Mears, yeah, yeah 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 I sure served with Ken all my, all my life man basically okay, you know? cool, man. yeah he, he's a lot older than me though as you can see yeah. I, I'm a young looking yeah, guy yeah 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 I agree I agree I agree Ken Boyd is your buddy here remember you're his boss so you could do what you want with him when he's in his clothes he's lived good man we all live good my brother correct, yeah correct, man enjoy correct. your day and okay, uh, happy with your uh, spare fishing and stuff huh? thank you very right, much and thanks for sharing your love with the family man that that's what that we do that's how we do it here in Barbados Jesus I'll say that again man that's how we do it here in Barbados thank you so much correct, thank you so correct. much man that's why people come back here you know it's not only for the beauty correct. it's to meet a friend the beauty is the extra bonus correct nice my brother I catch agree. you later right have a nice all right day. cool man you too man have a look on Facebook and check us out later right yeah for sure the name is gonna be on Nicholas Dean D-E-A-N-E Okay, D E A N E on YouTube or Facebook. Okay. Come and join the family. It's all about peace and love and happiness. I just show you. We have a group on here now. Um, we will be. You know, we have uh, over 1,200 vlogs up on YouTube now. Um, we do all over the island. We've done all the coastline. We've done every beach in okay. the island. So uh, all either live or 4K resolution. Right, for sure, you can get the fellas. Send a fan request. And you get man. the fellas as well. Maya, yeah, you get them. Maya, yeah, you do that. It's Maya. all about peace and love. Bring the people who love that. Correct. Thanks Correct. again. Huh? Have right, a blessed buddy. day, brother. See, as he said, that is how we do it in Barbados. That is how we share love. That is why all of you are on here this morning. Because all of you understand what Barbados has to offer. It's not just a beautiful place. You can find beauty all around the world. Maybe not as beautiful as here, as a biased Bajan would say. But you definitely can find the friendliest people in the world. That is what we're known for. There are some pockets of people are not as friendly as they used to be. But that happens, you know, society changes people. And also tough conditions can change people as well some people uh, un unfortunately separate the beauty when it comes to hardship all they see is hardship and hopefully anyone that feels that way will reach out and touch a friend let their friend bring them back online let them understand that it doesn't matter your wealth or your position in life what matters is you're breathing and that you are being given all of this amazing beauty that has been got given to us free of cost by our creator beautiful beautiful Barbados as you can see there's a little shelf reef here this runs right across this almost this entire section here but where we were just now 
um, was all sand bottom. There are some areas here that you can walk out as well, but there is some reef. But this is beautiful six men's bear. I'm gonna give you our first circle of love. I don't think I've done a circle of love yet. Although I've been giving you love for the entire time, this will be our first official circle of love. Here we go. Beautiful. That is what you got to call heaven here. All right, let's get take a look at the, the transparency of out here and the visibility you have on the west coast. You get very little uh, movement, and like the south coast, with currents and stuff. So visibility down here will be a good additional 20 feet at least to what you get on the south, unless the south is under absolute extreme good condition. So a lot of people tend to like to snorkel on this side here, especially, and also because of all of the groins that have been dropped offshore, like these here, the protection barriers and stuff. Um, they were created to stop the surge from hitting the beach and, and taking all the sand that builds and also to divert sand in this direction with the currents um, you will find lots and lots of fish out here some of the most amazing snorkeling can be found on this site I know there are a few of our family members that are on here they will tell you all about down here especially because they frequent down here a lot visibility transparent absolutely beautiful stunning now years ago I would have had to walk across here really careful because the amount of sea urchins, better known as cobblers, that we would have found all over these kind of reefs and around the uh, reef itself or on the edge of the reef. However, no, you don't find nearly as many as they used to have. Uh, they are still there, so don't go walking on a reef in Barbados unless you have on your right foot gear. Remember, there are also lionfish in Barbados as well. Um, very, very dangerous if you get stuck by a lionfish. The best thing to do usually is serrate it a little bit more and either get someone to suction it out whatever method they decide to use or to make sure it bleeds a lot and try and get rid of poison as quick as possible years ago you would have found when a sea lion had been caught sea lionfish had been caught they would have taken the actual bone and hung it in a tree so no one would step on it because even when it's out of the water or even after a long period of time it still contains its poison so that would have been found however nowadays it's become a delicacy in Barbados a lot of people like to eat um, the sea lionfish as well I don't know the correct terminology for it. I know it's a sea lionfish and that's the easiest thing that comes to mind. You're all lucky that you remember that, period. You would have noticed yesterday that someone went and interfered with my post that I put up and changed the date on my post to June uh, and had me feeling really terrible. And everybody was telling me, Nicholas, it's July, it's not June. And I had, to, I had to go home and rectify it quickly. I'm telling you, somebody changed it and I am going to complain about it. Somebody interfered with it. <laughs> You all may not find that easy to believe because you all know I don't even know what day it is. The only reason I know that it is, um, you know, Fatigue Friday is because I'm fatigued and I know for sure it's got to be Friday because of Q in the community. That is my sort of like weak mark. I know it's a Thursday with Q, so the next day is got to be Fatigue Friday because I'm going to try and bring you the best I can. Or I should say we're going to try and bring you the best I, uh, we can. Um, we're going to bring you all the love and peace from Barbados. Here we go again. I noticed that a lot of people on here, um, including our... I like call her still my co my co-star, my personal co-star. You're all star girl. Um, she she's on here looking very upset. I saw her cap locking this morning. That she's gonna fail. She knows how disappointing that would be, and therefore that's why she cap locked it. But I know for sure that she will be fine because she is an extremely intelligent person, and she strives to be the best. Hint hint. You can put that in a little italics called Nick. <laughs> Woo! I love it. I love it. I love it beautiful this morning absolutely beautiful the tide this morning is low so please do not think that you're gonna come down here every day and find this beach as big as it is right now because uh, high tide is gonna bring us about halfway up the beach for sure however the, the tide right now is absolutely perfect you can see how beautiful this beach is stunning beach you always find a few rocks on most of the west coast beaches I hope you know Ann Thompson is not on here because she'll elaborate with that she likes to blow everything completely out of proportion and call it a stony coastline um, so I hope she's not on here this morning 
But if she is on here this morning, uh, just to say, Simon, good morning to you, and I, I'm looking forward to having you back in Barbados so I can really pick on you properly. Because when you're not here, I don't see you, and that, that doesn't bring out the, the annoyance that I get that when you're actually here with me. So good morning to you as well. Remember, when I tell you that people are troublesome, or that people are, are bad behave, I love them. That's the truth of it. Because uh, it, I just love the trouble and the bad behavior they bring with them. So, Simon, you will fall in that category. You're one he loves. All of our Spice Girls, whoever is here on the island, I hope you'll be joining us tomorrow. There are many of them that are off the island. For any of you that are on the island, remember tomorrow we're going to be doing, uh, we're back to our historic tours. This is going to be in Bridgetown again. Uh, we will be meeting at, on the beach by the car park. We were uh, just, just to the north of the boatyard. I put the information up there for you so you can always hit on the link and get the Google Maps to the link itself. As you, I ought to thank Google Maps for uh, putting up all of our landmarks for us because every time we say we're going somewhere, Google Maps puts it up. I mean, if I say Look, tomorrow I'm going to Bridge Shang, I put Bridge Shang in, in Google Maps, it's going to pop up. And that's because they have heard me say Bridge Shang on our vlog. So they're going to put that in. So thanks to Google for, for being so proactive um, for our group. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I can't believe the amount of nonsense I could talk when I'm tired. Anyhow, I don't usually talk this way. I usually am I'm very, very detailed and and factual but this morning I'm feeling extra special as I told you before we have done Port St. Charles we've also gone across here as well in the past however we have not done them together so today we are doing something new on the EMC um, as I told you before we educate you you can actually swim across here Mary and um, Cheryl don't worry I have two noodles I can lend you all I know you all cannot get buoyant so I will take you across here one of these days when we come out hopefully Miss Kara will join us but she wouldn't need anything because she is a master swimmer but Port Ferdinand, another a beautiful port. We're not going to see up inside of there this morning as we did with Port St. Charles, just because of where we're located. The only thing that I've seen them suffer with out here a lot is dredging, the necessity for dredging, because a lot of sand is building in this area. And if you were with us on a few vlogs, on some vlogs, the other day, which was probably about two years ago, thanks very much, Coastar, uh, you would have seen that they had a dredging machine here for months and months and months, clearing out this entire section. Uh, to permit you larger vessels to get on the inside however i haven't seen that for quite a few months now so it, it doesn't seem to be urgent however if you look at uh, the other side of this bay here you will see a big build up of sand obviously when this was constructed there was no sand here at all so you can appreciate that it is building on the inside section and you can see the necessity for the dredging what you will also notice is how the water color changes very quickly that's how it drops off so if you're with kids and stuff especially running marinas please you know unless they're extremely good swimmers or whatever keep your eye on them please because if they run 10 feet away from the shoreline they will just go under because it gets deep really really quickly around the edges also the sand is extremely soft so also be care careful of that as well don't let them step too close to the side i'm gonna get rid of some this bubble here that's trying to keep me afloat and let's start off another section going across today so here we go this is our second marine view for the day we're gonna make our way across now this is beautiful you would have remembered the, um, the other day yes that covers pretty much everything in Beijing uh, the other day we did a walk and showed you the new little uh, bridge section there that you can get from where the marina is out to where the new um, condos are gonna be built more of that you can find on the page just look back for it but in Port Ferdinand you will probably see it come up under that we do have them tagged off for your convenience so you can pick them up quickly but this is the entrance just as we went across Port St. Charles. We're now doing it in Port Ferdinand as well for you. I am so talented then. I don't like to talk about myself, you know, but I gotta tell you, I, I am a super talented, extremely handsome. Um, st my stature is like amazing. If you saw me, you would say, that man should enter bodybuilding competitions, but I, I, I left out because if I build up even more mass, I won't be able to be as, as, as athletic or as good as I am in all of these sports that I uh, participate in. So I didn't worry to go and bulk up any further. Um, this is all natural. This is not from lifting weights at all. This is just strictly natural. I was gifted with this amazing body. So <laughs> what a beautiful morning. All right, doesn't make sense to swim across here and showing the ocean and the horizon because then we do exactly what we do most times. Thought this morning we would do something very different, you know, so that we haven't, we have not been in the sea since I think it was the 13th of June, way too long. But every time I've asked those Spice Girls to go in the sea, they've told me, it's too cold or 
I don't feel the mood today or I am not doing that for the family. Blatant outright statements such as that. But today we decided we are going to do this for the family. Uh, especially as we know that tomorrow is not going to be a swimming day. Tomorrow is going to be concentrated mainly in the Bridgetown area. Remember to meet on that beach um, for 5.30 in the morning. Uh, yes, we saw us at Bajans, even myself, so it might be, we might not get there until a few minutes after that, but the actual starting time is going to be around 5.45. We're going to be starting down um, by, down by the Buccaneer in that area, right out on the point there. And then Nicole will take over and do her own thing from there. She knows, she knows where she wants to start. We may not even start there because she may say, no, Nicholas, I'm not starting there. Hold on, though. It's time for a Circle of Love waterborne style EMC way. Here we go. Man, hold on, man. Who has on that stereo? I ain't here listening to the peace and the, and the gentleness of these waves lapping onto these rocks and on the beach. Uh, somebody got upon a, a, a music out here going to dun, to dun, to dun, to dun. I don't know who is trying to spoil my morning. <laughs> no, we don't get sharks in here. Um, if, if they do come in here, they're my pets. They're the ones I've trained over the years. Um, they came to bite me, and none of them have teeth right now because obviously they broke as they bit me. So they're being trained. They're what I like to refer to as our gums. Yeah, gums are gums are my favorite fish right now. I haven't seen them for a little while. They're probably out in the ocean, you know, feeding off the plantain and stuff because they can't bite anything seriously anymore. Most fish will play all around them because they can't bite them. Toothless man, gums they call them. But you can see the difference out here is a perfect example of what the tide changes are. We see it on the beach, of course, but we don't realize how much the tide actually comes there. Maybe not as much as in European countries and stuff. But you will see the different coloration on these um, armored rocks in the outside section. The darkness would indicate to you where the high tide would come up to, and then the lighter parts above there would be bleached out from the sun quite a bit. Um, however, high tide would be up into that area. So you can see, based on these rocks here, um, how much tide change there is here in the island. You can actually see them here on the inside as well. You can see there's moss growing up on quite a few of them here on the inside section. Oh, we've hit sand again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a quick swim across here. I mean, I know you all are probably saying let go again, but uh, I'm not doing that right now. Just before this board goes and gets away from me, I want to point out to you. I see our bodybuilding friend out there, man. I'm going to go and talk to him now and let him pull up a big pose for all of you all. Hold a second. I just finished talking about him. He, he's actually going to start up the parliament. He seems to be um, the person that is the head of parliament for sure, Mr. Speaker himself. So we're going to go over here and I'll have a quick conversation with him. I'm not sure if everybody will be as um, happy about the camera as I know he will be because I, I've seen his poses. He, he's definitely a, a, a master at posing. Ah, boy, you're going for him right now. No, man, he's probably trying to get away from me. I, I got him beeline here. I'm going to cut off and intercept him. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. My brother, I was just telling everybody I had not seen him for a long time, too. Yeah, man, so I, I, told, him, I told him you were going to pull a big pose for us, so... Put a big pose there for the people, man. Jeez. Oh, this is our resident Olympian bodybuilder himself. How are you this morning, man? I will just tell him all about your parliament and stuff, about how you all go over the parliament in a few minutes' time. Yes, I'll be there. Yeah. You're going to convene that, that today? Yes. Nice, man. Nice, man. Well, you all have a blessed day. And thanks for always sharing your love with our family. Huh? Yeah, okay. You have a peaceful day, my brother. All right, you too, man. You too. All right, folks, you all good? Okay, blessings, man. Have a great day, okay? 
So this is what these folks do every day. This is their way of uh, keeping fit. Um, you know, enjoying the peacefulness of life and the serenity that comes to offer. You know, you can find the serenity. Sometimes it's difficult to see. Sometimes things get awfully dark and we're not too sure which way to turn. I know about them because I fight them sometimes too. Um, however, you know, there's always, I have always found someone there to reach out to. I have a particular person I reach out to all the time now. And, you know, she calms me and comforts me in those times of distress. And there are many others as well, but she's someone that comes immediately to mind. And that, of course, would be Jeanette. Uh, I've got to make sure that everybody hears that name. <laughs> Beautiful, all right? A little more of this beauty. We got another another venture to go on. I don't know if you can walk wrong it, but we're gonna try. We're not stopping here. We can go a little bit further this morning. I see Amat Niff on here, and I, I don't know why you're leaving the West Coast and going over to the South. Uh, I remember you were telling me the other day that you that you're going over to the South now. That you're tired of the West Coast. I, I really couldn't get tired of down here, but if that's what you like. It's not a problem. You do what you need to do and to keep yourself happy. <laughs> I know you take some licks for that, but I don't mind. I, I heard her say, even if she denies it, you'll see the progress, or I should say, the preparations for development. The entire Nikki bar is gone. All the facility that was there has gone. It's just the platform and the jetty itself now. Uh, you all may not know, some of you may not know they're on here. Others have been following us all the time. Would know that this is going to be a big condo area soon. I'm very thrilled to see how they're going to do it. I'm not thrilled about a condo, but I'm thrilled to see what they do down here. Um, we ought to see how that develops down here and what it does. However, this is a public beach, will always be a public beach, so you'll have access to this from the road. Just up by the bridge, there's some steps that come down here. And then there's a pathway, just up by a big marginal tree, just over by a little small, tiny roundabout over there. You can get down to the other beach that we were on just now. That's only a couple of entrances, but there are many, many entrances along the section here to get to this beach. Last time we came down here, we couldn't go through the water because I was too lazy. <laughs> I didn't feel I walked through the water, um, but it was pretty deep. And as you can appreciate, with electrical equipment, we have to be careful because it doesn't last just for today. It's supposed to last for a long time. So we can continue bringing you this peace and this beauty and this serenity. And obviously, of course, um, the absolute beauty that we come out here every day to share with you. <laughs> that would be me. So we want to make sure we can do this here for a long, 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 long time. So this is why we're going to make sure and protect it. But today we have a way of coming wrong. Even if it gets a little deeper, it's not a problem. And I can also keep the gimbal relatively steady on this. As I said before, amazing apparatus. Now, a lot of people get on here uh, this morning. I'm sure they will have seen our preamble saying about how, um, you know, our meticulously scientifically created uh, floating device uh, was taken before I had a chance to patent it and somebody made it uh, call it a noodle a noodle is not anything like our floating device uh, our cook aka our head cheerleader can tell you that um, you anyone can put a noodle under their arms and balance and float however our cook our aka cheer, head cheerleader well she had difficulty she's still learning how to get in it and balance so you understand it is a highly crafted uh, thing for international standards and speed um, so she will know what I'm talking about. Good morning to you, Cheryl. Uh, looking forward to seeing you back on the turf again. Um, I don't want to say the words, but I miss you. <laughs> that was very painful to say. You know, sometimes, sometimes the truth can hurt. <laughs> that's the one time it definitely hurt for sure. You know, good morning to you and everyone else who's on here this morning. Let's turn back around and show you some of the beautiful areas of Six Men's again. Lovely. So this is a lovely, uh, I remember this here. It didn't come this far out and you see certainly I've got the sun a little bit so I can show you a little bit of it it was out to where that wood is is where the land originally was and they had a big double story shop at one time and then I'm not sure what it was before and then it was left to sort of like just um, fall apart over the years and then this is what was taken up when um, Port Ferdinand started to come online they put in this beautiful facility over here it's lovely actually really really lovely and here is a little murky because there's quite a bit of water movement but you will see thousands of little fish all over the place here swimming hopefully you will see them beautiful remember we are just to the south of six men's fishing village that's just in front of us uh, on the corner so we, it, as you can see it's quite um rough over in our section we won't worry to venture right over there we would just stop here sort of kind of thing and say our farewells in this location spread our cheer and love and joy as we always like to do what i will tell you is turtles are found all over this island this is one very popular spot a lot of the, well, a couple of the catamarans um come down here and do some snorkeling in their actual lunch and cruise 
Um, I've been down here before um, on a couple of occasions with Gina's crew and her and her boat, which is amazing. And spent time down here, lots of lots of sea life, lots of turtles in this general area. However, it's not really frequented a lot because of the distance from the deep water harbor to get down here. And most of the companies like to use multiple snorkeling areas and then a separate lunch stop. So to put this in, um, you really have to have the right winds for sure and right sea conditions that you can get down here pretty quickly. I just want to take you out and let you see there's quite a bit of movement out here in the water. Uh, as I was telling you before, we don't have need to turn to turn to turns around. So I have no fear. And even if they bit me, you know what will happen. They will be joining the crew of the gumless ones. Here we go. Just going to go a little further around for you. A little bit of rocks in this section here. Um, I don't have on any beach shoes today because of uh, my aquatic skills. I needed to pull them out today. Um, therefore, I don't have on the beach shoes. Um, so I'm just going to be taking my time going over here. But I'll show you what is under us and the kind of reformation. Remember, this was all reef originally. There was no sand built up in this general area here until they actually developed the outer section to protect the Port St. Charles and also to build the reef around here, or sorry, build the beach around here for Port Ferdinand as well. I'm going to give you another circle of love here for you, um, just to let you enjoy this area. I'll work my way out a little further into a little nestled section here of sand so that I can turn without stepping on reef and stuff and give you it from here as well. So here we go. This time, I can't remember which way we turned last time. So if we turn the same way last time, well, forgive me. Here we go. come back in that area and see if we can see one of these nets being casted just want to complete our rotation um, this is a lot of these guys will be fishing right now for bait fish small fish from the net that I see him with it's uh, looks, looks like the bait fish he's looking to catch and then he will utilize that to go in a fishing boat um, or from the shoreline itself um, to catch bigger fish later on today but I don't see him actually tossing it right now in the distance you'll see what was our wax cement plant I still refer to it as our wax cement plant that's where a lot of our cement is shipped from in that general location to many of the islands around the Caribbean. Beautiful, beautiful. Mary, you come to mine right now. Just beautiful out there. Likewise, as I said before, Gina and her Calabaza crews, you also come to my mine because I've been here with you quite a few times as well. To each and every one of you all, let me turn this around so you can see how amazing I am while I'm talking to you um, and how, how perfect my lip movements are. <laughs> Anyway, to each and every one of you, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been my pleasure to bring you through this section to do something a little bit different. Remember, tomorrow is Dos El Sarde, um, aka the biggest lay for lies. And that is, of course, Miss Kira. She's going to do a phenomenal job of telling you all lies and making you all believe it, which you all will, even if any of you all know that it's not true, she will still make it in such a way and so kind and so caring and peaceful and sweet that you all will think that you all do not know the truth and that she's telling the truth. Do not fall for it. That's all I gotta say. It's just like our co star sweetness. Do not fall for it. Because I have taken her through many courses and, and I say to myself, ah boy, she's finally learned. And then you next say, bam, bite right on the back of the calf, man. <laughs> she's, so, <laughs> she's so wicked. Anyhow, it's a beautiful morning and we're gonna go back on this jetty here. And we're just gonna look across this beautiful and calm bay so that you can enjoy this here. And the last thing that you will see today will be nothing but peace and serenity and calmness. Just give me a second when we get across here now. To each and every one of you all, remember the peace and love and happiness that you're finding here. A lot of people are not going to find. Um, let me carry back over to the other view now. I know it's not as good and I know you're going to cry, but don't cry. It's not a problem. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll make sure I'll push myself in front of the camera if Nicole does not see me. Because when she sees me, she likes to hog it and put it on herself. So I will try and do my best at least that you will see me tomorrow. So farewell from me for now. Or actually from this amazing view now there we go all right so we can leave you this piece and this serenity this morning remember that you are being um or you have been privileged to see and enjoy this here today not me nothing to do with me it's all to do with the beauty and the peace and the serenity of barbados the magic of barbados you are experiencing right now 
I know those of you that have been here before um, will know exactly what I'm talking about. That's why you're coming back again. The magic of our people being the main magnet that brings people back to Barbados because you feel as though you're coming back to your family, people that you haven't seen for months and months, sometimes years. You come back and see them and the first thing they do is greet you with love and a hug because that is how we Bajans do. And that is why COVID was so difficult for especially our Barbadians because that's how we greet, period. We hug everyone. That is how we love to do. And it's just a, a way of extending an agape love. That is a love for everyone, unconditional love for everyone because we're all humans and we're all children that have been created to live together, not to disperse and live apart and have wars and fight and go hostile. We're supposed to be encouraging peace and love and happiness and that is what we try to do with the EMC. If each of you all are on or any of you all are on here, they're not being able to comment this morning. Remember, you can only comment if you're a friend of mine. So please send your Facebook friends request to us if this is what you see today and you are enjoying what you're seeing. This is what we do almost every day of the week. So if you are unable to comment this morning, you understand why we lot send you a map of Barbados that we have taken from a blank map and have put on everywhere that you can find vlogs and then you can go onto YouTube and search for anywhere in the island that you may want to see. Plan your vacation before you come to Barbados. Your vacation is usually a time that's very limited and very, very compact. And many times we find ourselves going somewhere and we say, well, I really wish I hadn't have gone there. I had gone this place. I didn't know it was like that. Well, now you have the opportunity to research all that before you come and plan your vacation before you come to Barbados and making it even more special because you can see a beach or you can see any location on this island and say to yourself, I want to see there or I'll wait till next time. I won't put on the priority list, but I would like to see there maybe next time. So from us in Barbados, from our EMC family, um, all of our care team, all of our Spice Girls, from everyone, we wish you a peaceful day, a day that's filled with laughter, a laughter that comes from your belly, man. That's laughter that comes from your soul, one that you really genuinely mean. You're not laughing just to be fashionable, you're laughing because you feel the spirit and the happiness that goes with anything you're seeing or hearing or experiencing. Uh, we also wish you safety. Uh, for those that are traveling today, uh, I know David, I think, is on his way down to Barbados today. I uh, look forward to meeting you, my brother. Long time we've been talking. You've bought me a lot of coffees in the past, so looking forward to spending some time with you. And to anyone else that's coming to Barbados, remember the EMC want to meet you. We don't just want to meet you online. If you're coming to Barbados, we have a dose outside. It's specifically designed to bring family and friends together, um, usually in a convenient location. Um, if even it's a public location, we are, sorry, a, a paid entry of location we usually work out special rates for you as you would have seen in the past so you can come and meet our friends and family if you're a brave person and you can get yourself prepared and know that on the morning at four o'clock i'll be calling you and letting you know the location that i'll be going to you can come and join me on any given day that is not a problem but you have to be prepared to leave home around 4 35 o'clock at this time of the year because you're going to have to drive to a location that's maybe half an hour or 40 minutes away that is very possible and we'd like to see the sunrise when we're going to some of them so have a great day everyone, I'm greeting you from the, what people like to call the northwest side of Barbados, it's not northwest side of Barbados, this is the west coast of Barbados, I know it's up in the northern section but I still refer to this all as the west coast. Beautiful, calm, pristine, transparent waters, very little currents as you would have seen because we came across the mouth of both of those ports without any difficulty whatsoever. Um, we bid you a uh, farewell for now, remember join us tomorrow around um, 5.45 will be broadcast time. Uh, where we'll be taking you on an adventure with Nicole, um, gathering us and leading us along the way and prepare yourself for lots of lives. Have a great day people. Love and peace from Barbados. Love and peace from me, the Beijing Warrior. And as I said before, love, peace, kindness and the best wishes to each and every one of you all from our EMC family. Have a great day.